Planning out this video uh, was pretty intense. The whole video is shot in just under 4.2 seconds. When you shoot something at 4,000 frames a second, but you plan then later to use part of it at 4,000 frames a second and part of it at 2,000 frames and part of it at, you know, 1,815 1, frames. I mean, those are very specific frame rates for each part, but you're filming all at the maximum rate and then, and then speeding things up to accommodate. You have to take your song, figure out where your beats are, your measures, and you figure out the time for that. Then you have to work backwards with the math based on your frame rate of shooting and how many frames take place. All of that information is in this spreadsheet, which is this enormous document um, that took me, you know, I don't know, I was working on this thing eight, 10 hours a day for like a month. When this starts moving, it's a while before it hits the first one. Yeah, so, so that first one's gonna be variable. Yeah, we can give you a time, but it would be yeah. great if we could give you a time and punch it in. And so I wrote the code on site for it and basically was able to get the 250 microsecond resolution we needed in order to fire the pyrotechnics at the proper sequencing, which all had to be basically to the beat of the music. That was an incredible challenge. Arnie had to come in and save the day with this, this machine he hand built for this purpose because basically no one has ever asked to film events happening so precisely, um, f at least for fun. The last time that I've seen someone having to build something this accurate to fire pyrotechnics was the Manhattan Project. So this is like way past my pay grade. You know, I was just like, let's make something happen at four milliseconds apart. Cause my, cause, cause my time says so. And then these poor guys have to actually figure out how to make something happen four milliseconds apart. My brain fried out a few times and the machinery fried out a few times. That was the one night we shot the first one and when I was trying to do the math on it, I couldn't do it. I was like, I'm done. My brain is fried. I am cooked. We can't feel things at a, at a sub second level, you know, it's it, things are moving too fast for us to really feel, and that's what's that's where the wow comes from is that we're inspecting a world we're unfamiliar with, you know, we're, we don't live at that time scale, and that's why it's so wondrous and beautiful to us. But the only tool we have for choreography in there is math, we had to like sort of strip it down to its numbers, figure them all out, and now we put it all back in there and see if it feels the way we wanted it to feel.